Willis College hosted a Red Friday celebration in support of Canadian veterans. It also served as a launch party for the new Veterans Friendly Transition Program, which is set to help veterans who have left the service and are in need of help transitioning to everyday civilian life. When war, after World War II, when veterans came home, Willis played a significant role transitioning veterans. But my side, it started uh, when we first introduced uh, scholarship for the military spouses. And um, I found out that it was good to have a scholarship helping the spouses, but veterans were as important as uh, spouses. So we researched that what, what was the need. We got together subject matter experts and we developed a program that was not in existence. It's not like that individually programs don't exist, they do, but never has come that all the services under the one roof. And we wanted to make sure it was enabling the veterans transitioning from the military life to civilian life. It was important for them to have a veteran-centric uh, program. It was important for them to uh, gain a gainful and meaningful transition. So all together came this very unique program. Veteran Support Coordinator Caroline Matthews is a vet herself, and she explains the importance of having all the services in one place. So some of the veterans have medical issues when they're releasing and so they don't feel like they're getting the help that they need. So here we're putting everything together in one stop shop and uh, we're going to help them through the transition into the civilian employment. Willis first saw a need when the military spouses were applying to Willis College while their significant others were on tour. Then when the soldiers returned, Willis took charge to help them out as well. When we first opened the Empire Campus, we learned about um, military, we learned about uh, D&D. We were invited on a roundtable discussions on a policy by the uh, MP. And uh, we got to know that Parawawa simply was close. And uh, when we uh, went, when I was invited at the uh, military base, um, it was Ker um, Colonel Genio, actually, that um, gave me his, uh, the coin, he was so touched. And that coin became my symbol. And I was so touched to find out that he kept this coin, it was his 30 years coin. And uh, working with our uh, uh, partners in Perawawa, uh, the mayor of the Perawawa, we worked uh, military family services and base. Um, it was not difficult for, for us to come up this program because we had the support. It was done by veterans for the veterans. So that's what makes a difference. Many were on hand to celebrate this great achievement for the college. Reporting for Kojiko TV News in Armprior, I'm Richard Leboy.